Welcome to What Do You Think? One of my other shows, I asked, What Do You Think? And I said, uh, there's no such thing as one way. And, th and that's true. There isn't such one way. In that show, I told you that uh, if there was only one way to do it, when you left home in the morning, you'd have to go all the way around the earth to get back home. So there's no such thing as one way and that way. But I want to talk today about there's no one way to think. So there's no one way to think. And that kind of applies to nearly every single thing that you're exposed to. From one thing to eat, to one place to, to sleep, to one place to drive a car, to one shirt to wear, to one whatever. There's no one way for all those things. There's one way to think. So kind of what I want to do to do a demonstration for you today is this sign is now white. It says think. But I can change this sign to another color. And so now it's green. So what does green mean? Well, green's trees, uh, green's grass, green's color cars, shirts, whatever. You can make green. So if you think color green, there's not even one way to think color green. There's so many things that green involve that you can think green. And so you could be talking about plants. You could be talking about all kinds of things. There's another thing here that I think that you uh, need to know is, gosh, my sign changed. It's blue. I could think of blue sky. I could think of blue water. I could think of, of blue like sad. I could think all kinds of things associated with the color blue. And so that means that with the sign, when we started, we said there's no one way to think, and I've been giving you lots of different examples to think. Well, here's another one. It's yellow. And so it's the same kind of thing. It could be a yellow flower. It could be a yellow car, a yellow shirt. Yellow's not too common in nature, but it's pretty much out there. So... There's another example of another color, and I don't even know that I know what color that is. I can't tell. But uh, there's, there's all kinds of colors that it can go through of my sign, and I can change them by pushing on the button and making them, well, I used to be able to, that is. Doesn't seem to be working now. Anyway, there's more than one way to think about nearly everything. It could be it, one of the things that gets our country in trouble right now is how do you think about being different than your neighbor? Uh, one of the things that we're all different from our neighbors, uh, we come from different gene pools, we come from different places of the country, uh, but if we didn't have differences in ways to think, there wouldn't be but one religion. I know most people think that one religion is their religion. Theirs is the only one that's right, and everybody else's is wrong. I know that uh, it, it could be one custom that you have in your society it could be one uh, one collar, uh, one pair of shoes, one Ford or one Chevy, or one of anything. Almost all of life has choices. Uh, it can be choices of what kind of mayonnaise you buy, what kind of Miracle Whip, what kind of salt you use, what kind of sugar you use. I mean, sugar alone, there's white granulated sugar, there's brown sugar, there's molasses, there's lots of other things 
with that kind of stuff. And uh, I know I remember an episode from when I was a youngster. And uh, my grandma was, I was 10, maybe 12, helping my grandma work. And we were harvesting cabbage. And uh, so she had us dig up the cabbage and then bury it again upside down with the roots up and bury it in the ground. And I said, Grandma, you're crazy. She says, no, I'm not. If you leave the cabbage growing in the ground, when it rains, the rains go inside the leaves and rot the cabbage out, and you don't have any cabbage after a while. She said, if you dig the cabbage up, turn it upside down and put it back in the dirt, the dirt keeps it from freezing, and <laughs> the little bit of water that gets on outside, you might lose one or two leaves that will rot off. But you got all the rest of the cabbage inside till summertime. Until my grandma told me that, I did think she was crazy. But as soon as I heard what she told me, I knew she had something going on there. She was thinking right. And it had to do with all of growing up to some extent. You listen to people that know more than you do, do things different than you do. And if they can explain why it's better, then you follow them. So there's no one way to think there either. I mean, I was raised on a poultry farm. And one of the things was some people that had poultry farms had individual chickens in individual cages. And they could keep track of what the chicken laid, how many days it laid, so forth. And when I, the farm I was on, the chickens ran free. Well, not outside free, but free in a building. We had 5,000 in one building. And so the chickens would lay their eggs in the nest, but we didn't know which chicken laid eggs. But we eventually figured out that they worked as a group. So the pullets come in and they start laying eggs and when the pullets start laying eggs, you have double yolks. You have all kinds of big eggs, small eggs. They're trying to get their act together, trying to get it tuned in. And then after the chickens are a little over a year old, they slow down. They still eat the same amount of food, but they slow down in egg production. So the bottom line there is it's time to get rid of those chickens and get some new pullets. And that's what happened on the farm. But it took me years to figure out what that meant. So how do you think? It depends on what you're talking about. Look at more than one side. So one of the examples that I like to use on people is when you're thinking, take the opposite, for example. So you've probably heard the saying, never give up. Uh, one other thing in what do you think, I've heard people say, never give up. So I asked myself, well, if you can't give up, what can you give? Wow. Most people say, well, I don't know. It means never stop. Uh, what you're trying to do, keep on doing it. Don't give up. And so, okay, I understand that, but I took it more literally. If you can't give up, it's not something you can give. What can you give? Well, I looked at it and said, what's the opposite of up? Down. Well, you know what? You can give down. You can give down, which is goose feathers, which is used in pillows and blankets and coats for insulation. So if you can't give up, you can give down. Just another way of looking at exactly the same thing. And so it depends on what you see or what you hear. And uh, another guy had a t-shirt on that said uh, something to the effect that meant never give up, but it says never stop. So that meant to me, well, he meant never stop what you're doing. Don't give up. The same kind of idea. But I asked him, what do you mean never stop? That means if you're running, you can never stop. It means if you're eating, you can never stop. If you're driving, you can never stop. So none of those things really mean 
what the t-shirt says. It's just a way of thinking. So again, there's no one way to think. You just have to keep thinking until you explore all the possibilities. You figure out what the choices are and how to do them. So I was in Wendy's one day in a restaurant and two young guys came in and one of the guys had on a t-shirt that said Nike just do it and I'm sure you've seen the t-shirt. It says Nike just do it and I asked him, I said, guys can I ask you a question? And they said sure. And I said, I think your t-shirts offend me. I was kidding, of course. And they could tell that because I was laughing when I was talking to them. And the guy says, just do it. Just do it. The Nike t-shirt guy said, just do it, just do it, just do it. And I'm saying, well, if I just do it, what I was thinking about, I don't think that would be good. And he says, just do it. Well, I said, well, I was, and not seriously, but I said, I was thinking about killing somebody. Should I just do it? Well, no, maybe that ain't such a good idea. And then the other guy had a t-shirt on that said, God, Jesus. And he said, okay. He says, how's my t-shirt offend you? I said, well, I don't know. But what in the world did Jesus do to you that you're looking for him? What did Jesus do that, that I, you need to find him? And, of course, the outcome was laughter from both of the guys and me because it worked like I thought. But it made them think of a different thing that they've been wearing those T-shirts for years and never seen them the way I saw them. That don't mean that I'm right. That don't mean that i am got the handle on that or any of those things. It just means almost everything can be interpreted different than it was sent out to be. Okay, it can be interpreted incorrectly. It can be determined, determined to be correct. But until you talk to the people who told you what it is that you're being told or how you're being told or what their reason is, so think about the all the ways of the circle. And so I had something that I thought was pretty interesting. I went to see a doctor here about a month ago. And you know the little table where they pull out the paper for you to set on at the doctor's office? He drew a circle in there and he said, that's you, or that's a subject. And I said, you can look at it from this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. You can look at that number from infinite number of times. And I said, how much? Three. He said, an infinite number of times. And I said, oh, wow, okay. I said, yeah, I see that. And he drew another circle over there on the other side to that. And he said, that's truth. He says, what you're trying to do is find truth. If you're the circle, you're trying to find truth. He said, okay, I'll buy that. So I'm trying to find truth. He says, the trouble is, you don't know how far the distance is between this dot and that dot, which is truth. You don't know whether it's 10 miles, 10 million miles, or two inches. So when you think one way, you're thinking that the wrong way. You know there's some other way. Now I could turn my sign around and make it point that way, but you'd have to be looking at the back of it. It's not a two direction sign, it's a one direction sign. But the bottom line is you can look any way you want, and the more you look at a subject, the better it'll be. And uh, so, therefore, I thank you for looking at what do you think and what do you think about my s story today and what do you think about any situation in your life. And no matter what it is that you're thinking, it's going to change. And when you start out in life, you look at the world as a kid, then you look at it as an adult, then you look at it as a parent, then you look at it as a grandparent, and then you look at it like I am an old guy with a white beard that's had a lot of experiences with those different things. So the older you get, you change those directions, you keep looking at that dot. And hopefully you're getting closer 
to the dot of truth to find out what's true. And believe me, in the news, you see a lot of stuff that's not true. So that's the end of my talk for today. And I thank you very much. Have a good day and keep on thinking. Thank you.